So welcome back to the shop, friends. I saw this crazy thing on my friend Taurus Crawl's channel, and I had to get one and find out, is it really that good? So what is this thing? I'll tell you what, if it's anything like I've seen it online, it is a foam bubble making bazooka. It's, it's a, makes a super dense, thick, a, I guess, uh, what, what would you call it? Call it a, a like a foam blanket uh, for detailers, I guess, are using it. Um, who knows who, who's using it, but, it, but it's just basically a brass fitting right here. The cool part right there, if you look inside, you'll see that it's got, look at, there's, there's two stainless steel little uh, plates. No, they're not moving. Oh, here we go. There, you can see them, how they open and close. Somehow that configuration makes crazy, crazy bubbles. And it's designed to fit on the end of your pressure washer wand. Now your pressure washer wands, most of them, everyone that I've seen has got a quick attach deal on here where they have different sorts of uh, spray patterns. And they're, they're kind of universally uh, recognized. So the white is, uh, is a really wide fan, and then you have your red, green, and yellow, your different ones for, for more uh, pinpointed pressure. Washing ATVs and bikes and cars and things, I go with the with a white one because I don't want to I don't want to inject water you know have crazy pressure injected into bearing surfaces and, or bearings and and seals and all that thing so hold it back a little bit and use the white one and usually you're, you're pretty well off so what the what I'm what I've read here what I saw what I've seen is you take that tip off there and you snap this on here right and you turn on your pressure washer and it just it goes crazy now on the website or, or on the pictures and everything, it shows guys hooking it right up here to the, at the base of the wand instead of the tip. I don't know if that matters or not, but mine doesn't, mine doesn't come apart like that. It, it's kind of fixed right there. So this is what we're gonna do. So we'll try it. Now they say you have to use this super fancy um, high suds or high soap, whatever whatever it is. I'm gonna find out. We'll try it with this and then we'll try some like just some cheap regular uh, soap to, to see if, 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 if indeed you do have to have this. I, I really, I wonder. Uh, but let's, uh, let's hook it up and uh, see what happens. So you do have to have a pressure washer with enough power. I think it was 2000 PSI or something. This one's 2800. Here you go. That was gonna, what I was gonna show you there. There's the, the spread pattern. 40, 25 degrees, 15 degrees, zero degrees right there. Red, yellow, green, white. That's the those are the different nozzles. If you don't have a heated shop, pressure washers in the winter time are kind of a bummer because you have to dr dry everything out. You keep leave some water in there and it'll freeze and break your pump out and you have to drain all your hoses and all that. But I guess it's worth it. Still saves saves a lot of time of the uh, of, of uh, washing equipment off with a brush and hand brush and hose. We'll hook up our hose here. I often get questions about these strange. Uh, spigots right here that we have mostly from our friends and Af subscribers in Africa. Uh, these are for, for cold weather. If you live in a cold climate, uh, your your spigots, your, your standpipes will all freeze. And so what this is is it's a the valve is is way down in the bottom underneath the freeze layer. And then when you open this up, it uh, charges the the standpipe so you can use your water. And then when you're done, when you close it, it closes off way down below, and there's a weep hole that drains out, it drains the water out of here. So when you see these in rural areas or alpine areas, that's what they're for. So we've got a very dirty dirt bike. It needs cleaning here after an awesome ride the other day. I'm so excited for the spring. Winter just won't let go. She's got her nails dug in deep. The snow's still coming uh, in the mornings. Uh, but I've got some guys at the fire department. Uh, I I've been working on them. Like, you guys gotta get some bikes, man. Look, so I've got, uh, got two guys that are getting bikes maybe three we're gonna have a we're gonna have, we're gonna have so much fun i've got a big news on that for an opportunity for you guys uh, to come and ride but um i'm still ironing all that out so that's coming up soon this old honda pressure washer has been a good old workhorse and i've had it for over 15 years or so and uh, never given me any trouble as dependable as it's ever been actually starts easier now than it did when it was new all right, so this, one thing with this, you've always had to release the pressure. I think I got my valve on there. There we go. Really hold the pressure or it won't. Uh... Oh man, I'm dribbling out everywhere. What's going on here? Let's shut that off till I start it. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> check, check that out. That's some that's some Mr. Bubble right there. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, so uh, I, I think I might have the the mixture a little bit too rich there. I got a lot of <laughs> a lot of bubbles coming out there. You guys that are auto detailers that are using this, you know, probably let me know uh, on that. But uh, I, I just, I thought we just should go full bore, right? See, <laughs> see, see what it can do. So that's pretty cool, man. Boy, you can, you can really lay down the bubbles uh, with this thing. <laughs> so I don't know how much of it uh, is dependent upon the the special mix. Uh, let's uh, let's try something that we're all familiar with. Let me clear all this out, and then uh, we'll put a little bit of simple green concentrate in there and see if we can get. Uh, the same results with the simple green. Okay, so we'll, we'll dump all this out here. I like this stuff. It, that what, what, that uh, hot pink color that is cool. It smells like uh, smells like cherries too. All right, we'll let that empty drain out there, and then we'll uh, we'll try the green, the green stuff there. See what happens. All right, so let's get down to brass tacks here. I got I got most of that out of there, right there. So do we need the super fancy, super high sudsing soap, or can we just use something that we have around the house? So this is a simple green, high purpose cleaner. Simple green, I like simple green. I used to use it for when I had my wrecking yard uh, for washing parts because it's non-toxic. Uh, some of those chemicals are, are, are pretty gnarly and, and it works good. It, it has an interesting story behind it. Uh, the, boy. Grief, I'm spilling more than I'm getting in there. Um, the guy that invented it, if memory serves, uh, I don't know if he was involved in an industrial accident or witnessed it or someone that worked for him. Oh, come on, man. Come on. How about a funnel? But uh, something happened that, uh, that he uh, witnessed or something, and, and he, I think he invented this. You know, necessity is the mother of invention. It's kind of like uh, the story of the... Remember the old cars, the Model Ts that had hand crankers? I oh, probably don't need that much. Hand crank starters. Um, I, I, it was General Motors or Clackam or a Cadillac or something. I think they lost one of them that owned the company or was an executive lost a family member uh, with, by one of those kicking back and it killed them. And they invented the electric starter uh, from that. So kind of the same principle. All right, let's hook that up and see how the how the simple green does. So in full disclosure, this is actually not a dirt bike here. This is a, it's a green screen that I use. Some guys uh, called me out uh, on the last video for using a green screen and I, I didn't make it clear that I, I typically do use green screens. So, uh, but I think we could, I, we'll get the same effect. It shouldn't, shouldn't make that much difference. All right, there it is, a simple green. Let's see if we can get uh, Mr. Bubble going with that. So that is interesting. So it, it, there's no question there, there's not near as much uh, uh, so, suds action or, or bubbles uh, with the simple green as the, as the high bubble stuff. Uh, does that really matter? You know, the, so my take on this whole thing is, uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's really cool to, to, to put it up to your wand and, and cover everything with bubbles, you know, and, and all that stuff. But is it really, really effective or is, or is it a gimmick? Um, you know, something like this for ATVs, I mean, what's the purpose of a detergent? The detergent is to get um, a grease, you know, grease, cut grease and oil, you know, like your Dawn, you know, when you're washing dishes. Um, but if you're washing stuff that just primarily is getting dirt on it, like you know, there's not a lot of grease on a dirt bike, then a little bit in the engine if you get an older one that's leaking or around the exhaust pipe. But um, it's a, to, to me, it looks like a good way to waste a lot of detergent because <laughs> it, I mean, it, it definitely goes, goes through it. It's not too bad. It's uh, and I had it turned on high. So uh, is it a gimmick? I don't, I don't think it's a gimmick, but uh, how many bubbles do you really need? You know, how, how much of that? So, you know, maybe if you had, uh, if you don't have a hot sea or a hot water pressure washer and you're doing stuff like heavy equipment, that has got a lot of grease and different things on it. Yeah, it might be pretty good. It's not doing any harm. It certainly is, is fun and it's probably worth the 20 bucks that you pay for it. Uh, for that, um, it's, it's kind of cool, kind of cool. The, all the bubbles you get on there, but, uh, that's it. Yeah. I thought I'd share that with you. And, um, again, um, uh, thanks to my friend, uh, Taras Kral. Uh, he's, uh, he, he's done, I, I really like his channel. I'll put a link down there to his. He's the, I don't know if he's affiliated with the crazy Russian hacker or anyway, but I've watched their videos forever. He's done a lot of uh, videos on the same stuff that I've done, you know, on, on uh, 
lever axes and different things. And, and I always appreciate his perspective on it. He's a really funny guy. Um, his reviews are probably better than mine, but, uh, uh, but thanks for the idea, Taurus. I uh, didn't mean to uh, piggyback on you, but um, uh, I thought it was cool and I do a lot of this pressure washing stuff. And so am I gonna use it? Is that the question on my bike? Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> probably will. <laughs> will until all of that pink stuff is gone and would I reorder it? I don't know, maybe, I might, I like it. I think it's kind of cool. So it's only 20 bucks, it's not, not a big deal. All right, uh, I'll put a link here in the subject heading and Amazon link if you guys like to support the channel and you like to have lots of bubbles when you're washing your cars or dirt bikes, uh, you can get one and um, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Are, 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 are you blocking it? <laughs> you ever seen so many bubbles? <laughs> it's, it's, it's this thing white, I white? You want a white bike? Well, it's this thing I saw on the internet and it, and it put this pink soap in there and it makes these crazy bubbles. Do you think that's a natural coloring? Yeah, it's cherry. Smell it? <laughs> it smells good, oh, it huh? Does, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that, that was I thought that, that was pretty cool. Are you kind of excited for the snow to be gone? I am so I'm so excited for the snow to be gone. Since my recent admission to not being a real homesteader, boy, that gives me the liberty to do any sort of a video f I, I want. I can do Amazon videos. I can do uh, cooking videos. I can do travel. It's, uh, it is actually quite liberating. I'm just kidding. It's, uh, uh, I, you know what? You've got to have fun once in a while. I saw that thing, and I thought that that was pretty cool, and I wanted to share it with you. And I do apologize for the, oh, man, it's killing me, the audio. Uh, I, I grabbed a different mic that I haven't used for a while, and the setting was wrong, and everything was clipped, and, and I do apologize for that. I will get that corrected because bad video is kind of annoying. Bad audio is unacceptable. That is the most, most important thing. All right, so what's going on? What's going on? Hmm. Well, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. So Mrs. W's, um, her, her, her mom, um, um, we'll call her more and more Wrangler star, a real Swede, a real, a proper Swede from Sweden, uh, is visiting us for 10 days. And if you remember, uh, Vinny, uh, my father-in-law, he'll be joining us here in a couple days. I, I feel very blessed, very fortunate. I actually have in-laws that I really, really like. I always get excited to see them. So we're looking forward to that. And I'm going to try to talk, uh, more and more Wrangler star into doing, maybe we could do a cooking video where she can show us how to make proper Swedish meatballs. Because if you haven't had proper Swedish meat meatballs made by a Swede with lingonberry and roasted potatoes and gravy. Well, you know what? You just haven't had a proper meal because it is fabulous. So I'll, uh, I'll see if those two will be up for that. We'll shoot a video on how to make proper Swedish meat, bit, sw Swedish meatball, <laughs> Swedish meatballs by a Swede. And I promise they won't have any horse in them. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and to comment. Uh, it helps us, supports our channel. We really appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.